This is Chris Kennel with the Raw Advantage, another awesome interview. We got here Jose at the Farm of Life. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Jose? I'm doing great. Yeah, so how long have you been here at uh, Finca de Vida? Uh, 50 something days now. 50 something days. So, you know, we're going to have some before and after pictures. This is ridiculous, the amazing changes that you've went through. How do you feel about your time here so far? Well, it's, uh, I fulfilled everything I needed to. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And more. So, you know, coming from where you are right now, when you were in the months before you came out here, how are you feeling and how, what were, how are things different two months ago? Wow, it was a complete uh, difference. I was feeling, uh, every single day I was feeling lethargic. I was feeling depressed. Mm -hmm. I was feeling a, um, like I just, I just had no reason to live. Like I was just, I was just uh, living, but I wasn't really truly alive. Yeah. And I was just eating very badly, and absolutely no conscious of what I was putting inside my mouth. Yeah. So how did, how long were you thinking about making changes before you really stepped up and made? the leap to do something like this, come out to Finca de Vida? It took me uh, about a year mm -hmm. to finally get the courage to come to a place like this. But I had look been looking for about a year now. Oh wow. And uh, and at first I backed out yeah. from coming here. But then like my family just pounced on me and a friend that you have to go, yeah. you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, you have you're, to do it. You, you're going to regret it if you don't. Yeah. So I just, I just booked my airline ticket and I didn't look back and boy has this been an amazing ride. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. Man, that's so awesome. So a year, you know, you, that means you know, it's probably been years that you've been going down that path where you felt more and more depressed and worse and worse and it got to the point where you're like, I can't take this anymore, exactly. I gotta do something. But then to muster up that energy and that self-love to really do something about it took some time, hey? Yeah, I was at my tipping point. Yeah. And Thankfully, you know, I didn't tip. Yeah. I came here and wow, I just I just feel so great, so good, so full of joy, so full of peace. Everything, you know, the raw foods, the yoga, mm -hmm. you know, the mentoring, the yeah. guidance, your coaching, everything was amazing. Bless you, man. Thank you. It's been, it's been so fun lo learning and growing with you. You know, the last two months, we've had a lot of time spent together. Mm -hmm. but like you said, we've done a lot of yoga as well as lots of talking about nutrition and the mental aspects. You know, what, are, what were some of the hardest things for you over these last two months? Was it, you know, like the physical change of the foods or battling mental or physically trying to challenge yourself with exercise? What were some of the biggest challenges for you? Well, as you can remember, physically, I was feeling fine. Yeah, you did. It was all up here. It yeah. was all up here. Yeah. Um, I had very bad cravings. Yeah. At one point, I even wanted to leave. Yeah, from, I know you, you know, did. I know yeah. you did. <laughs> and, but all of y'all, you know, just helped me with even, you know, if it, whether it was a word, an action, something, all of that just kept me here and, you know, fighting that mental battle yeah. and making me, you know, realize that I'm the one that can control things you know and my mind is, exactly my mind doesn't control me yeah and all of that just helped me so much as you were saying before uh, watching the observer as you learn from the power of now exactly. amazing book hey uh, yes very very good and then lightning has helped so much as well yeah for sure yeah the, the resources here are amazing hey like between all of us here with support and the exercise, the fresh air, and the barefoot walking, and the mm -hmm. books, and of course all the fresh food. Oh, the food! Yeah, it's <laughs> amazing. I love fruit. I love vegetables now. So yeah, before you came here, what have you been saying? That what have you been saying? I love fruit. I love vegetables. No way. Fruit, no, fruit was my enemy. <laughs> fruit was your mm -hmm. enemy. Was I was like, no, I can't eat fruit because I start getting sick. Yeah. It was just you know, uh, the food combining that was making me sick actually. Yeah. And. And now, you know, I know how to eat it. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's such I, a different feeling, hey? Like mm -hmm. lifting you up when you eat a meal instead of dragging you down and depressing and subduing you. I got to learn that too, yeah. Yeah. How, what a feeling it is to eat all this stuff and actually feel good and not feel like I need to go take a nap. Yeah. I know, I know you've, you've had a lot of huge changes. Like how much weight did you lose while here? Well, I lost a grand total of 43 pounds. That's so awesome, I man. was close to 300 pounds. Yeah. And I leave in the 250, 250s. That's huge. And this mm -hmm. is just the beginning, because this is stuff you can take home and 
as we've talked about, help others with and share, you know, yes. sharing your knowledge and helping others grow at the same time, helping yourself grow. I definitely want to just teach everything. I, like Brian has said, I'm taking a toolbox of knowledge. For sure. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share that toolbox with everyone. So awesome, mm -hmm. man. So exciting. We've done a lot of yoga too. And I remember when you first came here, you know, you were saying like, I want to be a yogi. Like, I want to be able to do crazy amounts of yoga. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at that time, you just had very, very little little uh, exposure to it, really. Yes. So, you know, how, how has that treated you and how do you feel you've grown? Because I've seen you, like, go from barely being able to do a pose to now, like, be able to do a full flow class and strength, you know, strength and athletes yoga classes, which has been so fun. Yeah. Um, first, I have to thank you. Because, yeah. I mean, you were the master in all these classes, helping me, guiding me, and... I have to thank you because the classes were so much fun. It was so fun, man. Mm -hmm. I loved it too. And, you know, when I got here, I, I knew that I wanted to learn how to do yoga. Yeah. And I was so glad that you were here, you know, who could teach me. And once I got here, I just got into it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't let uh, my weight hold me back, you know, tell me, oh, I can't do yoga because I'm too fat. No, I just went into it, noticed a tiny difference, tiny difference, and then those differences starting adding up. Yeah. And now, you know, it's such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, even though I still have a lot to go, I've gone so far that now it's, it's you know, I can see uh, myself doing even more intricate poses. For sure. Well, you, you have a natural tendency for it, and you have such mm -hmm. open hips, and you'll see some more of that. It's so awesome, man. You, Definitely from the beginning to now have so much improvements and I can tell that you're only going to improve more and more. Thank and like you. you said, be able to share that with your family too and do mm -hmm. stuff at your, you know, your own classes at your own house I want to do that. Like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's all fun, you know. That's the, that's the joy of learning new things. You can always spread what you know because once you learn something, you know more than someone else. We're all teachers and we're all students, right? Definitely. Always teaching and learning from each other. So I know also that, you know, you said that before you came here, you had some back problems, some sciatica, kind of on the left hip, and you didn't really want to tell anyone because you didn't want it to prevent you from doing all this stuff. What's up with that? Okay, yeah, when I got here, and actually before I even got here, I was having uh, lower back problems. Yeah. And they were pretty bad. Every time I bent down, I had to find a, a position to bend down in order not to hurt myself because it was hurting more and more and more. And when I got here, I didn't tell anyone, as you know. Yeah. Uh, I probably mentioned that I had a little bit of a backache, yeah. but I never went into how bad it really was. And in conjunction with jo yoga and uh, eating the raw fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. all of that, and the pain is completely gone. So awesome. Completely man. gone. Yeah. I can bend down. I even tried it yesterday. I bent down every which way I possibly could. And no nothing, pain, nothing. no pain at all. Yeah, it's only gonna get stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, the the classes we've been doing, like I said, you know, they they do kind of focus on that area and the core area, which all strengthens your back and losing the weight. It's all so awesome, mm -hmm. man. Definitely all conducive to feeling better. Yeah, and that little change has improved my uh, confidence, my self esteem, my happiness so yeah. much. Because really, when you have pain, you you, and then you feel healthy again, you realize how much that pain was bogging you down. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, oh, I've seen the change. I've seen the transformation in you, you know, being happy and more like yourself, just mm -hmm. coming out and not being internal. You yes. Know? And then all of that, you know, you, Brian, Jody, everyone here Lisa, at the everyone. farm, Lisa, yeah. everyone here at the farm has helped me so much uh, with, like I said, you know, that you boost my confidence and eventually the the tape recorder in my mind starts playing hmm. my you know all of that all of these confidence uh boosting thoughts yeah and the thoughts change and my actions change yeah it's so awesome thought word action right mm -hmm. sometimes reverse it start with the words go to the thoughts and the actions all follow mm -hmm. and that's so awesome i know also you're talking about how uh you know before you, you'd wake up and take a long time to go to bed and how is all that going to change? Oh, wow. <laughs> Again, complete difference. Um, when I got here, I was waking up and it took me a long time to get up to bed. Yeah. Even when I went before I got here, I would just stay in bed 30 minutes just tossing and turning. I couldn't get out of bed. When I woke up, instead of feeling energized, I felt like I was actually just tired from like a 12-hour work day. Yeah. And... And now I wake up and I'm like, 
I'm turned on. Ready. Mm-hmm, ready for the day. Man. And I feel I feel great. So now, what are some of your favorite meals? What, what do you love to be eating? Like, what have you been eating since you've been here? <laughs> it's like I'm going through a fruit phase right yeah. now. And I love it. It's um, and you've had a few, right? Like you had some where you're like all fruit and you're like, I don't really want fruit. I want cucumbers and lime and mm-hmm. some salads. And then you're like back to fruit again and yeah. just embracing it all. Everything is just like it's just like small little phases of, oh, I'm, I'm craving this fruit. So I eat a bunch of it. Yeah. And then and then I start craving another fruit and I eat a bunch of that. And it's just and, and then I've gone like pineapple. I've gone back to it several times. I yeah, love it. So Watermelon. Good. All of these fruits. I just. I'm having, I'm at, like having a love affair with them. <laughs> it's so awesome, man! It's so awesome. They love you as much as you love them, which is the most beautiful thing. Yeah, and they make me feel so good. Yeah, and so, so you've been doing mostly mono meals, right? Like lots of mono meals, yeah. tons of uh, you know simple recipes here and there. Like the other night, we made some simple pasta, mm-hmm. and of course, you know, being here two months, we did some transitional stuff. We had some chili and mm-hmm. you know some raw tacos. vegan chili. Yeah, raw vegan chili and mm-hmm. stuff. What were some of your favorite of those? Oh, definitely, hands down, the raw vegan chili. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. It was like, uh, it was like one of the best foods I've had, whether they're cooked or raw. Yeah, it was so so good, oh, so, so, so filling, good. and at the same time, it didn't it didn't like uh, bog me down. It didn't yeah. make me want to go take it. It was a no fat chili. There's yeah. actually zero fat. It was, it was incredible. Chili. I mean, the food you have made is like incredibly delicious, so nutritious, mm-hmm. and I mean. I'm just gonna miss it all. Oh, well, remember, <laughs> I'm gonna have my book, so you're gonna be able to bring that home and share it with your That's family. That's true. And I showed you some of these recipes. They're really mm-hmm. easy to make. They are. It's not that hard at all. So that's awesome, man. You know, it's been really a pleasure being here with you and Thank sharing you. and growing with you. Yes, yeah, the same with you. It's been mutual for sure, and I'm really looking forward to talking more. And anytime you need anything, reach out for sure. Thank and you, um, you know, stay in touch with us here too, because you know I, we're gonna put the before and after pics from here. But, you know, in the months to come, you know. Keep us up to date. You yes. know, it'll be awesome. We want to we want to help encourage you and stay with you and you know anything we can ever do. You know. Thank you so much, Chris. You have been amazing, an amazing teacher to me, an amazing friend. I couldn't have asked for more. Thank you so it's much. It's been my pleasure, man. Thank pleasure. you. Thanks, Jose. Thanks for all our fans. This is Jose coming to you live from Pinca de Vida. Blessings. We'll see you again.